Illustrator's Pathfinder tool is a great way to make type look like it's broken apart. So this is a quick demonstration. I already have my type on the page and you'll notice there's a baseline. So I want to separate some of these letters from each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a copy of this. So I have my original type and I can still edit it. I can make changes to it. So to make a copy I'm holding down my option key and you'll notice the arrow changes to a double arrow and I click and drag on it with those double arrows and I just move that to the side. So if I ever want to change the word I still have my typeface intact. So I click on this copy with my selection tool. I go up to type and create outlines but I want to move individual letters so I need to go to object and ungroup. So now I can move those individual letters. So I'm grabbing maybe these four letters, moving them down, maybe these two letters, moving them back up. Maybe I want to tilt them a little bit. So that's just the beginning of my broken apart word. Then I'm going to use the fun part and that's my Pathfinder tool. Here's my Pathfinder window. Um, when it's closed, it looks like this on the side. If you don't have this symbol showing in your tools, simply go to the Window pull-down menu and look for Pathfinder. And this will appear. The way to make letters look like they're broken apart is to draw a shape on top of them. So the simplest way is to use the rectangle tool. And I'll just draw a box around here. And I want to move it so that I don't have any awkward tiny little shapes. See that tiny little sliver right here? You want to avoid things like that that look like a mistake. So I'm going to position my box over the letter to avoid those tiny slivers. Then I select both my box and my letter and I click on this button right here in my Pathfinder menu box. It's called Divide and you'll notice that these shapes look like they're puzzle pieces broken apart. So you click on that and now they've divided into separate shapes. Then using my Direct Selection tool I first want to deselect all of these items just by clicking somewhere else on the page and then I click on the items that I don't want. So I don't want this one, so I click on it and hit delete. I don't want this one, so I click on it, hit delete. Then I can move these shapes apart. Notice I'm clicking on the inside of the letter or the shape now. If I just, just click on the edge, this is what's going to happen and you'll be pretty unhappy. So I'm going to undo move, undo move, and I use this command a lot, command Z. If I go too far and I keep hitting command Z, then I can always go forward again and redo those moves and that's called redo. So the symbol or the shortcut is command shift Z. Okay, so I'm going to do Command Shift Z until I get to the part where my letters were broken. And then to make it look a little bit more um, authentic, I click on that piece and I rotate it a little bit. So all I want to do is get that curved arrow. And to do that, when I'm still in this tool, my direct, se direct selection tool, I hold down my Command key. And for you PC users, it's probably the control key. And you hover your arrow near one of these handles until you get that curved arrow. Then you can rotate it. Holding down my command, I hover near one of the handles to get this curved arrow and I rotate it. Now the other thing about Pathfinder is you can create a shape other than a square. So I'm going to use the pen tool 
and I'm clicking, clicking, clicking. I'm not dragging because if I dragged it would create a curve, but I want these sharp pieces overlapping the letter. And then I want to close this shape by hovering near the first um, spot where I clicked. And you'll notice that the symbol now has a, an O next to it. So I close my shape. I go back to my selection tool, select both the funky shape and the letter, click on my divide in my Pathfinder tool, go to my direct selection tool, deselect just by clicking on the white area, and then select and delete all the unwanted pieces. Click on the inside of the letter and start pulling apart those shapes. Sometimes you have these tiny little slivers that I was telling you about earlier. So to select those, select the whole thing. You can draw a box around it. Or you can simply hold down your Option key when you click on it. So the arrow has a plus sign and I selected the whole piece. So it looks like I didn't do a very good job drawing my shape over the B because I have these tiny little shards and now it's looking less like a B. You can barely tell what it is. But here's the other example where it just has a minimal amount of breaking going on. So in a nutshell, that's the, the uh, Pathfinder tool. Um, just experiment with it, but it's this button that you want to try using for now. The divide tool, but that'll make some great puzzle pieces.